right now, I want to let you guys know that right now we don't have any new information when it comes to Super Dragon Ball Heroes episode 49. There are a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers who are claiming that they have the episode. There are a lot of people who are making up false information. Really, the list can go on and on. So instead of me telling you guys that we're going to see Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegito in the next episode, we might not see that. We might see Kaioken. We might see an Ultra Instinct Omen Vegito. We don't know exactly what we're going to see. What I do know is, is that the next manga chapter for Super Dragon Ball Heroes is going to drop on June 2nd. The last thing we seen on that chapter was Vegeta making his way onto the battlefield after destroying Majin Buu. Goku in previous chapters already tried to fight the Demon King without a transformation as you can see on your screen. So this really begs to differ. Will we see Vegeta fight the Dark King before fusing with Goku? We still have Gogeta fighting against the legendary Super Saiyan Broly who by the way is utilizing Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker on top of the Dark King's Dark Factor power up. Now if you haven't make sure to leave a like on this video, likes go a long way on this channel. Make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications that way you'll be reminded every time I upload a new video. We talk about all things as Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super, Super Dragon Ball Heroes from the manga to the promotional anime to the whip anime to when Dragon Ball Super finally comes back. In other news, I know it's not related to Super Dragon Ball Heroes, but I do want to go ahead and point out, just like we got Vegeta using a Super Saiyan Blue with Evil Key kind of controlled, the character Giblet from Dragon Ball Legends also did the same exact thing. As you can see, a side-by-side -side comparison. Even though Giblet is using Super Saiyan God with Evil Key controlled. I kind of like how they are both using the same type of strategies. In other Dragon Ball news, the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter, I believe 93 has came out. And even though I've said in maybe one of my previous videos that the manga chapters in the Dragon Ball Super version of things is just not really hitting right, they still not. I mean, the last chapter we got to see Goku pretty much train with Broly before he went out of control in the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. We didn't get to see that. Now, it's kind of interesting that Toru Taro, the author of the Dragon Ball Super manga, has pretty much straightened some things out when it came to Goku and Vegeta. Specifically, Goku confronting Vegeta about meditation not really training and that he needs to move his body. Me looking at that movie and hearing that, I first thought to myself, I don't know what he's talking about. He's been meditating as a kid, especially in Dragon Ball Z. But in the Dragon Ball Super manga, Tortaro changed what Goku pretty much said. That it's not usual for Vegeta to meditate. He usually don't train like that. And seeing him train like that is kind of a shocker. If you're not following the Dragon Ball Super manga like I am currently, just know that by the end of that chapter, Piccolo did go ahead and get the wish from Shenron to actually go ahead and get his power up. And of course, Shenron said that he added a little something extra. Broly did start to rage out, and then that's when Goku pretty much calmed him down. Now, speaking of Dragon Ball Super Superhero, we have an alternate ending for the said film, but just not for that actual movie in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Cell Max is showing signs of tiring! Piccolo? Let's make this attack count, Gohan! Right! Special Beam! Cannon! Now, how would you have liked it to see both Piccolo and Gohan actually end off Cell Max by doing a double special beam cannon? And of course, in Superhero the movie, Gohan having that shine right there is pretty good. I mean, he just got the new form. It would be nice 
but Xenoverse 2 did a pretty good job with the ending too. There's also another alternate ending for Dragon Ball Super Superhero within Xenoverse 2. あなたまで無茶をする今だ。全力をぶつけてやれ。2号 I do want to also state that in the manga, because the manga is not currently up to where the promotional anime is yet, the Minger has not used his full power form in the manga. So hopefully on June 2nd, we see the introduction of Vegito and then also the Minger using his full power form. And hopefully we can actually see something more than what we got in the last anime episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes. But that is all the Super Dragon Ball Hero, Dragon Ball in general, news that I have for you for this video. Now, if you're brand new, make sure to drop a like. Like goes a long way on these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I talk about all things that's Dragon Ball related on this channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.